Hello, welcome to Honeywood Museum and to our new exhibition, There's No Place Like Home. We thought it was very pertinent to focus on home at the moment. We've all spent a lot of time under lockdown and since and looking ahead. Our homes mean quite a lot to us, the time that we spend there and how we relax. So the exhibition here is all art from the museum collection and it's looking at different houses and homes that have all stood within and under Borough Sutton over a long period. We have a group of works depicting Whitehall Historic House in Cheam, which of course we open to the public. This slightly naive painting captures Dame Duffin's cottage and Anne Boleyn's well, just on the edge of the pond. This is All Saints Church shown in the background. So the cottage was literally built into the churchyard wall. The painting here shows Orchard Hill cottages around 1880 by Harold Goldthwaite. Now Orchard Hill cottages stood just behind the Greyhound public house across the road from Honeywood. This is a pen and ink drawing by William Tatton Winter depicting the footpath beside Carshalton Church, All Saints Church, and it captures an unusual view looking along the slope towards Carshalton Pond. Here we have a pair of watercolours by an artist called Nora Travers, and they capture two cottages in Cheam um, depicting probably early 19th century. So the one at the top here is in Red Lion Street, now Park Road in Cheam. These two watercolours by Frieda Wright capture different roads in Sutton Newtown, which was developed from the 1850s on the east side of Sutton High Street. The one at the top is known as the Bottle House and it was built by George Wilkes, dated 1905. This is Waterloo Road, part reconstruction. Um, their roads tend to be, tended to be developed by different builders, which meant that you ended up with quite a pleasing mix of buildings there, rather than just all matching. This is Little Holland House with its characteristic wide front door, its windows either side of the door set to indicate open arms of welcome. Notice the oriel window here on the front and it had a slate roof which Florence um, paid her trousseau money for the slates for the building. For anybody who's visited Little Holland House, you'll know that there's a large um, living room stroke dining room as a central living area in the house, which was particularly designed because they enjoyed music and dancing. The group of watercolours here are by an amateur artist called Sheila Mary Ellis. She had houses in Ashton Road, Carshalton and Boundary Road, Carshalton, and she captured the essence of them, both the exteriors and interior views that came from that intimate knowledge of living in the buildings for a length of time. 